thank you very much for this award. I'm just thrilled. And the fact that it's a lifetime achievement really makes me go back and look at the way I became interested in historic preservation. I think to a great extent because I lived in Annapolis and I was able to really enjoy and live in an historic environment. That was sort of the beginning and then all the things I did in art and architectural history and then in city and regional planning, environmental planning, always I was trying to look at those subjects in the sense of, well, I like it, other people must like it, and how can we, how can we see, save it or how can we keep it? Uh, how can we make sure that other people can have the same enjoyment or that it can tickle their curiosity so that they go on saying, asking, why is this here? Uh, what, who were the people that built this? Or who were the people who lived here? Uh, what were their lives like? So I think that even though we start with the physical, we very rapidly go into a social and economic history. And so the historic preservation really helps you give you examples of our entire history.